Hi guys, it's Barbara with Cancer Cancer Cancer. This is an all Cancerian channel. Cross watchers are welcome. If you're looking for other placements, please check out my main channel, Quartz Rose Tarot. The link is in the description box below the video. Guys, if you're looking for my information to book a personal reading, you'll find it listed in the description box. Also a link to our uh, Etsy store for our tarot deck, Magical Fantasy Tarot, uh, is on sale. Check it out. So let's get into this for Cancer. We got hook hookup and attachment toxic drugs alcohol oppression kind of like the devil card somebody may be obsessed with hookups or hooking up with somebody yeah you got lilith there yeah it's a woman okay this is about Somebody may uh, be obsessed with a specific person here. Lilith is somebody who's sexually uninhibited. Um, this person is like a sex addict. This could be this person. I feel like this may be you, Cancer. Me all 12 signs starting with Aries. you're dealing with an Aries someone could be broken hearted over an option or they could be confused and broken hearted if you're dealing with a Taurus somebody's manifesting a commitment if you're dealing with a Gemini this has to do with a relationship Gemini and a relationship or the foundation if you're dealing with a cancer, someone's closing a cycle of mind games and manipulation. If you're dealing with a Leo, somebody's unhappy with an offer. If you're dealing with a Virgo, they're having a tower moment with a Gemini Libra, I'm sorry, with an Aries Leo Sag. If you're dealing with a Virgo, this is Virgo, sorry. This is Virgo. If you're dealing with a Libra. Someone may have regretted juggling a situation. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, there's no equal give and take with a third party. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, this is illuminating um, emotional communication. So something's going to, they're going to communicate with you. Um, cancer, this, uh, this is um, illuminating some communication between the two of you. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, someone's been at a crossroads for a long time. Um, Capricorn may be trapped in their head and they don't know what direction to go in. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, they're obsessed with waiting. They may be waiting for their ships to come in, but they're obsessed with waiting. If you're dealing with a Pisces, somebody's going to be communicating about the deception. Cancer, what's happening? Right out the right out the gate, Cancer. There's a tower moment. Something is crashing down that has to do with a player, somebody who was there for a good time, not a long time. So there's a tower moment on this player being left out in the cold. You're gaining this victory. You're gaining the Empress energy. Yeah, see, this is saying the same thing. This is somebody who is obsessed. 
causing a tower moment, somebody being a player. Same thing with hooking up as an addiction. So a sexual addiction. This is someone obsessed with being a player. Someone was obsessed with being with multiple partners. Um, this person, um, this is a life, like a, uh, the foundation is ripped out from underneath this person's feet. There's justice leaving somebody out in the cold. So you have taken your power back here. Justice leaving somebody out in the cold, getting a victory. You have a new beginning coming towards you, Cancer. Because something illuminated, something gave you clarity about this snake in the bottom by my thumb. There's a snake in that picture. Getting, it's bringing to light the snake. This person could have been a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn. Arguing and fighting. This person, it kind of comes by being very, very, I see it, I want it, it's mine, very charismatic. But you're in this queen of swords mode. You're not taking it. You're not dealing with the nonsense. You're not dealing with somebody who's going to act like that with you. I feel like it, maybe this... Looking back at the past mistakes where there was burden. Someone managed to get back in your good graces, manifesting, working on a situation by apologizing. By, uh, it's almost like whatever you allow is going to persist here. But you leaving this completely out in the cold, I don't know why you would have been accepting of it in the past. A divine timings at play here because this is a betrayal it's time for you to move on and resist hold back right you're 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 holding back from this negativity you're letting go of somebody who is literally needing help they, they need help because this is this is definitely an addiction I feel like this is going to come to a head for whoever this cancer is. There may be an invitation to a, a gathering or a wedding because you've got, you've got a gathering here, a party, an event, and then you have a wedding here. And this is about using your intuition, but somebody's causing a tower moment. They may have made it, you feel like even though you were with them, you weren't with them, like you felt isolated, you left, like they left you sitting there while they were out flirting with somebody else. This was the straw that broke the camel's back for you. This was the straw. This was the final, mm, we are not doing this anymore. Oh, this person's going to regret it and want to heal the situation, but... It, you, they don't want you to cut them out because of their past mistakes. Cancer, you've had enough of this person's nonsense. You're going to cut them out because of their past mistakes. You are. You're going to be single. You're going to end up being single here and walk away, right? I almost feel like this person communicates like they're a child. Like this person, this person doesn't, they're, they're immature. They're very immature when they communicate. It's almost like they don't get what they want, right? Because they're coming in as a player and you're deciding to be single and walk away from this. Empress energy. Um, you know what they're up to with the third parties. You, you know what they're up to. This is like enough's enough. This is where something is going to come to a head and you're going to just say, that's it. That was the final straw. They want to work on the relationship, but you see it from a different perspective. Sometimes you got to just take your power back. 
and cancer, I feel like you're taking your power back. You're saying, I would rather be alone. It's almost like I'd rather jab myself in the eye with a fork than to deal with this person again, right? This is, this is how uncomfortable this person makes you, right? Mm. <laughs> you got somebody coming in. This is not the same person, Cancer. This is not the same person. I believe that everything happens for a reason. I believe that when you, when, when one door closes, another one opens. And I feel like that maybe at this event where you felt isolated and alone, the minute you decide to do something, because it's very unexpected, Okay. You're not expecting this. You're not expecting this. This is somebody who thinks about you. There may be love here. They may have, this could be a past love. Somebody who reminisces, this is the past. And this is unconditional love with a soulmate. You may have somebody coming towards you. This may be the, the straw that breaks the camel's back and going from you know completely closing out the the door on somebody and deciding it's over to running into a, an old love and i'm talking i'm not talking about current old love i'm not talking about somebody that you that you um had a falling out with or broke up that cheated on you i'm talking about somebody that you've known for a very long time this could go all the way back to high school this could go all the way back to you being in the early 20s um you know somebody that you know things may have separated you like college or something other than other people there was you know the intrusion wasn't a person but maybe a thing families could have moved away things could have happened that separated you from somebody that you probably thought about all your life somebody who's just been in the back of your mind that you think about every once in a while when you when you see something or you smell something i don't know smells coming to mind right now like there's a certain smell that really kept, gets your attention and you think about this person they may be an aries leo or a sag you miss the opportunity you too miss the opportunity because somebody they rushed, they rushed to a person. This is like they, they ended up, after you were gone, they may have married somebody else. This may have been when you came back, they were already married. So when you re tried to reconnect with them, this is a king of wands who was discontent, wanting to reconcile. Um, but maybe you rushed into being married. It could be one of the two of you got married. Some, one of you tried to come back towards one another, but found out the other was already married, right? So it ended this person taking the leap. They were confused about your choice, or you were confused about their choice. You might have told this person that your heart was broken, or they may have told you that their heart was broken. It's almost like you tried to call this person to you. You were manifesting this king of wands. It could have been a king, uh, um, sorry, a king of pinnacles, king of wands. It could be either or. It could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, or an Aries, Leo, Sag. This person is a different person from the one that was the player. This is not the same person. Cancer, this person's going to be very honest with you. They want to rebuild with you, and they want a victory here. This person may have waited to be with you for a very, very, very long time. And now that they find out you're single, this person's ready to jump in with both feet. This person may keep, keep an eye on you through social media. This person may follow you. Um, you might not realize that they're paying attention, but they are. You may be a little 
um, really a little guarded because of the past, dealing with the past burdens. Um, but I not this. I don't feel like the burdens that you're you're resisting have anything to do with this person. I feel like it has to do with what you've just gone through. Like if you've recently broken up with somebody and you were maybe at a wedding or, you know, there's a place, there's an event where this is going to be the straw that broke the camel's back. Or you may end up meeting this person at the wedding, right? This person is a very strong soulmate, twin flame vibe. Um, this is very unexpected. This is somebody from your past where there is a lot of love here, right? Empress energy. So I feel like for you, one door is closing and another door is opening and the blessings are rolling in. So I feel like, you know, maybe it's time. Yeah, this person's coming in. This person's coming in as an emperor energy with that bear. Um, they may have gone through some rough times. They're trying to... Um, come towards you or travel towards you um, they have some regret they made a mistake in the past I feel like the mistake was that the two of you were separated and when you both came back to be together you guys were already both in other relationships uh, so this person feels like they should have done something different at the time um, not allow something to keep you away from each other I feel like the two pe these are two people that may have been broken apart during uh, due to circumstances beyond their control. I don't feel like it was because somebody else was in the picture. And I feel like the person in the picture, when you come back, it's, there's been time that's passed. So, of course, there would be other relationships. Um, the two of you aren't single or you weren't at the time. I think you are now. I feel like one of you is going to tell the other that they moved on because they were in a bad marriage. There was a, there was deception in their marriage or, or their commitment. And they won a victory after the harsh truth. They want, they want something different. They've been through tough times. The harsh truth is that there was deception and they won a victory. This person may have been hurt. You may have been hurt, um, trapped in their head, heartbroken, um, Maybe having regret that they didn't communicate to you when they could have. This person definitely wants to take a leap of faith to reconcile with you because it has been a very long time. Now, I want to say that this could be between 5 and 10 years. It could even be from 10 to 20 years. Okay, It's going to be different for different people, but I feel like this has been a very long time coming. This is somebody you've never forgot about. It's somebody that you, I feel like you strategically held on to this. You, you held on to something when it came to the relationship. I see you reconciling and rebuilding Again, with the King of Pentacles, could be Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn energy. I feel like this is a twin flame. Like you're going to come into union. You're going to, like, it's almost like you're being pulled to each other. Love is here. Love is here. Four of Wands. This is a love relationship. The foundation of this the foundation of this meeting is love, right? The foundation of the, the relationship is love. So, guys, I'm going to leave it there. That's all I have for you. If that resonates with you, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and stay blessed.